Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on our video today. We are greeting you with this very beautiful creation. This is our peanut butter and chocolate cake. Look at how delicious this uh, cake looks. It looks absolutely amazing. And we want to just cut through this cake and show you what amazing desserts we make here at Aurelia's Kitchen. Guys, look at that. Look at that cake. Very easy to cut through and very, very delicious. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So this is our peanut butter and chocolate cake. And we have the recipe for this. But before we get into that, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Thank you for the subscribers that keep on coming back here. We love you so much. And keep on coming. Keep on coming for other recipes, guys. Share this recipe with your family and friends. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And let's get right into it. So for this recipe, we'll use one and three quarter cup of all-purpose flour and we are just sieving it to get very fine flour. So that's a cup already and we are adding three quarter cups more. You see this uh, and fine flour, that's why we sieve. So it's usually best to separate the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients, then you, uh, you mix them in. So next you're going in with the baking soda. So we'll use one and a half teaspoon. That's a teaspoon and a half. So half of that. The next we'll have one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking powder so a teaspoon is there then to balance all the sugar that you're going to be adding we'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt or you can do a pinch but uh, the best measurement is a quarter teaspoon of salt so since this is a chocolate cake that you're making, we'll add some cocoa. So you can use unsweetened cocoa and we are going to be using three quarter cups of unsweetened cocoa. So that's a quarter cup, the second quarter, and the third quarter cup. So we'll just sieve this in like how we did with the flour, just to get the re really fine powder of this. You can see how much we have sieved. So that's what goes in in our dry ingredients and what you want to do is just mix this up so that everything will be well combined and then we'll set this aside to do the wet ingredients so for the wet ingredients we'll have two eggs for this recipe so make sure you break your eggs one by one just to prevent damage in case your eggs are not okay so that's one egg it goes in and then the second egg so those are two eggs 
So as we are mixing this, our oven is preheating. And the next ingredient that, that we are going to be using is uh, sugar. So we need three quarter cups of sugar. That's one quarter. The second quarter. And in goes the third quarter. Then for an extra flavor, we'll add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. In you go. And then this recipe calls for some buttermilk or mazuamala or plain yogurt if you have. So we'll add one cup of buttermilk. So mine is homemade. That's what you're going to be adding. So there is one cup of buttermilk. In it goes. So here we have our cake tins. We want to make two layers. Or if they'll come out very uh, very thick, we'll, make, we'll cut them half and make four layers. But let's see. But we are cooking them in two baking trays. So we'll add the cake butter to the baking trays and then bake. So our cakes are ready for the oven. We'll bake them at 180 degrees for 25 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. So since we are making a peanut butter chocolate, the peanut butter comes in in the frosting. So we are making a peanut butter frosting. And the ingredients for our frosting is one cup of butter. Make sure the butter is softened. If you don't have butter, use margarine like I did. This is margarine. So one cup of margarine and then one cup of peanut butter. So this is one cup of peanut butter, which you're going to add to our butter and then mix to combine. So after mixing to a smooth mixture, we'll add in our icing sugar. So we're going to be using about uh, one and a half cups of icing sugar for this recipe. So we'll do it gradually. We'll start by adding half a cup. There goes half a cup. And then we'll just mix this up and add in the rest as we go. Our peanut butter icing is ready, so we are also ready. So there is our first layer. Then Cake is perfectly frosted. We wanted it mostly naked 
and uh, the next step is to put it to in the fridge to chill for a bit for about 15 minutes and then we'll do a chocolate drizzle <clears throat> a chocolate drizzle and then our cake will be ready to cut in to cut through but it looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing at this point i just feel like digging in just now but let it chill for a bit so our cake has been chilling in the fridge for about 15 minutes and now it's ready for the final drizzle and then we see how it is There goes our beautiful, beautiful peanut butter and chocolate cake. Look at that, guys. Look at that cake. It looks absolutely delicious. I am sure it is super moist, super delicious. The, the frosting, it's just perfect. It's just perfect, guys. It's a naked cake, so I wasn't able to cover the sides that was totally intentional just because I, I wanted it to look just as is and it came out the way i imagined it look at that look at that cake will you try this out guys i hope you will you can do the decorations exactly how you want you can do a ganache on top like completely covered and then cut it through and have that chocolate uh, frosting without peanut butter but i liked it this way and it looks absolutely amazing whoa guys look at how beautiful this cake looks it's very very moist it's perfectly the peanut butter just came out perfect the frosting the chocolates everything just combines up well and i hope you'll try out this recipe so do not forget to subscribe to our channel for such gourmet recipes and much much more guys we have so many recipes for you to try them out this is the year for you to try out new things try out these recipes stop cooking the normal things that you guys cook we give you a uh, simple easy to follow recipes free of charge it's very free to subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you on the next one bye